Hey, this is Chad Nesbitt, and this is The Bottom Line on Skyline. On June 21st, a group of anarchists painted defund the police with traffic marking paint all over Spruce Street, just to the left of the Asheville Police Department. The city of Asheville has confirmed that the anarchists did not have a permit for defacing public property. The entire street was painted yellow in defund the police with black communist fists painted in the letters. While we were there, someone obviously upset about the painting on the street came by and dropped off two big five-gallon buckets of paint and dumped it on the D and the E on the street. Meanwhile, we are broadcasting all of this live and the anarchists came down in a threatening manner threatening to tase me and the other people standing there. All right, Chad Nesbitt again, Skyline News. We're still down here. We've got a guy who showed up with a gun. He has got it on his side right there. And we're not sure. He's with this anarchist craziness down here. Uh, these people just want to constantly just get in people's faces, and we are waiting on the... We're waiting on the pressure washer to get up here that APD has apparently ordered. There is no law enforcement up here, which sort of makes me furious since there's a man up here with a gun right on the side over here. Listening to the man with the gun speak, he was definitely an anarchist opposed to the families that came down in support of the police. As we continued our live broadcast, we showed more of the man with the gun. He was behind the barricades where the defund the police was painted, and that's where everybody had congregated. Things were getting hot, and I had to put my phone down several occasions because I thought I was going to have to defend my wife and myself. Fifteen to thirty minutes later, two police officers arrived on bicycles. At the exact same time, people started showing up with what looked like rifles. One of the men with the rifle asked the police officers if it was okay for them to be there. Rondell Lance, who is president of the Fraternal Order of Police, myself and the other people standing there, all heard the police officers say to the man with the rifle, yes, you can be here with those rifles, but just do not go on the other side of the barricade where the def defund the police people were. And those people with the rifles stayed out on the street. They didn't go past those barricades. They did not come near any anarchists that painted the defund the police on the street. Every bit of what the police told the men with the rifles is on the police body cam footage. Mayor Esther Mannheimer and Asheville Police Chief Zach say they are making arrests of the people who had weapons that evening. So who should really be arrested? Why didn't the police department arrest the anarchists that shut down a public street and painted defund the police on it defacing and vandalizing the public property? A statement from the city of Asheville says that these anarchists were exercising their freedom of speech. Does that mean the people can just go out and shut down any street they want and paint Mayor Mannheimer is aiding and abetting anarchists? Asheville police told the man with the rifle that he was just fine as long as they didn't go past the barricades. But what about all those anarchists that were carrying tasers, batons, and a 9mm? They were carrying it beyond the barricades where the police said weapons could not be. Those are the ones that should be arrested because they never complied with the police officers. For the Bottom Line with Skyline, I'm Chad Nesbitt.